Well, time for talking about the election is over because it's now time to make your voice heard and vote. Joining us now is David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter. He has his expert analysis. David, always so great to see you. Very happy to be here. Thank you. Happy election day, everybody. Happy election day. So let's start with an issue that seems to have been coming up today. A lot of people are concerned that there's potentially some vote switching going on with the, the machines at the polls. Well, what's happening is um, it's not happening at all of the polls, but from the information I have is that if you are a Republican and want to vote straight ticket, your vote will be switched over to Hillary Clinton. If you're a Democrat and you want to vote straight ticket, your Clinton vote will be switched over to Donald Trump. Okay. So it's not just happening with Donald Trump, it's happening for both Republicans and Democrats who are wanting to vote straight party. Now, what I've been told is that they are recalibrating the machines. If the recalibration doesn't work, then they'll actually look for another fix. But um, my inclination is to think that there are so many new voters who haven't voted in a long period of time that what might be happening, and this is just my you know take on it, is that they might be pulling the straight lever, lever first and then actually doing a whole ballot. So there might be some element, in my opinion only, of voter error because there are so many new people who haven't voted for like maybe 10 or 15 years and this is the first time that they're actually using the new machines in Luzerne County. There might be a, a potential for voting error. Not blaming voters or anything like mm -hmm. that. I'm just saying that, you know, that might be happening. Okay, so certainly something to watch. If you haven't already placed your vote, make sure that the people that you would like to vote for are actually selected. Yeah, and always check the ballot because they always will give you, you know, um, they'll give you an opportunity to say, you know, check it and make sure before you hit that final entry. All right, now let's talk about the Trump versus Clinton presidential run. What's your take? Do you think that either one is going to have the edge in our area? I think, well, in our area, of course, I think Trump is going to win in uh, both Luzerne and Lackawanna County. He may do very well in the Poconos. So yeah, he may really eat into a big margin here in northeastern Pennsylvania. You could bank, you, just, you could take that to the bank. And nationwide? Nationwide, um, I think it's going to be very close. I think the early parameters of what you're going to see is happening is if he, if he carries Florida or if it's close in Florida and if you see North Carolina and especially Michigan, you're going to see a trend line possibly for Trump. I think it's going to be very close. I think it's going to be either a blowout or too close to call. And another big race that's being watched across the country is for the U.S. Senate. Do you think Toomey versus the McGinty race? What's your take? That is going to be a nail biter too. I think that's going to be, I think that race has the potential to be so close. There are so many dynamics to that race that that may go into early Wednesday morning. Seriously? Okay. And now talk about what you've seen with voter turnout today. Voter turnout is incredible. Um, uh, again, from people I've been talking to. There are more people voting than haven't voted before. And it, anecdotally, I've talked to many people who said that, uh, you know, they haven't voted in 10, 20 years and they are motivated to go to the polls. Who that's going to help is open to conjecture at that point. But at least everyone's making their voice heard and able to, to place their vote for the candidate they would like to see yep. win. Everybody's making the effort. And the last time we had like a huge turnout was in 1992 in this area where I think the turnout was about 80% for Clinton and uh, Bush 41. So I think you're going to see that surpassed. Okay. Well, that's that's fantastic. And of course, the polls, the, the voting booths are staying open until 8 o'clock tonight. So still a little under four hours to go make your voice heard. Now, where can we go to get more information? LulacPoliticalLetter.blogspot.com and I'll be on the PA Live News tomorrow morning if they let me in the door. So I'm okay. sure. We All always right. love having you here, David. Thanks as always for your expert analysis. We appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks. All right, Mike. Let's